and gentlemen, Jim Tracy, uh, Land Use Council, Thorndike Resources and Federal Materials. I rise to uh, discuss a matter of procedural uh, significance to <coughs> the board. The subject the matter that's been under discussion in, in the main here this morning is the shoreline management master program and how aquaculture fits or doesn't fit into it. I am not competent to comment on that substantive issue. But in response, Commissioner Sullivan, you said to some of the folks that were, that were speaking that you wanted them to make sure that they got their comments into the appropriate forum. Now, your heart was in the right place. Okay. <laughs> your intentions were good, <clears throat> but incomplete. Okay. Uh, it seems to me that what's happened here this morning and what happened last week where <laughs> primarily proponents of the issue spoke is that you have a back and forth going on about a substantive matter that's before the Board of County Commissioners without a public hearing. That's the defect. That's a substantive due process, procedural due process, equal protection question, which I am competent to comment on. Uh, and and it, it goes to that, this, this fundamental issue about what this session is for. You know, if, if you're going to tell people, for example, that you've got to make sure you've got it in the, in the right place, well, you really should say, if we don't have a public hearing on this, we can't consider your comments or the comments of the proponents from last week, because this is not the forum in which you do that procedurally. Now, I, again, I, I know the intentions are trying to get to the right spot here, but I think I really think there should be a discussion with your prosecuting attorney. Um, possibly some outside resources like the Municipal Research Council or the Association of Counties should have that we rely on for such advice. To look to this issue of uh, what is the what are the appropriate sideboards on a well-intended policy decision to have this optional comment, period. So that you don't contaminate records for future appeals. That's in the county's interest. That's in the interest of all the parties that are that are participating in this process. And uh, it may be, it may very well may be that uh, in the past, I, as I've made a strong suggestion, that you have more public hearings on issues where you are making substantive policy decisions. So we can create a record of both opponents and proponents of a particular issue. But that's the kind of the central issue that needs to be discussed in the context of the session. I hope uh, that's helpful and maybe can move it towards a, a, a policy that will more clearly inform citizens and also defend the county in terms of a record before subsequent appeal bodies. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And we have had discussions about having a hearing on this matter, but we haven't set one yet. Did I see?